We'll, we'll ask your opinion, first of all. How did President Trump do his first year, do you think? Year isn't over yet, <laughs> <laughs> as we're taping this. Um, yes, he has been one of the most controversial presidents in modern media. Let me emphasize, modern instant communication media. We've had some incredibly controversial presidents in the past. Um, one who has really was pillared just about the most, Abraham Lincoln. If you wow. go back and you actually read the papers, as I have, of 61, 62, there are horrific, ugly political cartoons about Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Harry Truman. Well, we talk about President Trump today with the tweeting and such. Well, people forgot that Harry Truman got so furious with one reporter who had insulted his daughter, he said, if I can find the blankety blank, I'm going to punch him in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he did far better than some people anticipated. But always remember the Constitution of the United States. Look at how much power in Article II of the Constitution is given onto the president versus the responsibility of Congress. And that's what I'm really sick of, the gridlock of the swamp in Congress that we are not truly focusing on. There's been nothing but gridlock. I am awed that Trump was at least successful in getting through pushing the tax package. And something I talked about in the Prophecy series, maybe the most important job of all the President of the United States, nominations for the Supreme Court of the United States. We got a really good one in this year. Probability is across Trump's administration there'll be at least one or two more. What do you think that might do in terms of the respect for human life from the moment of conception if we can just get one or two more members of the Supreme Court who are pro-life for children? Yes. Yes. That will be his most important job, perhaps.